Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. Smoking, rolling for up. I adjust the time. Everybody, it's Sam from Soul Quest here with our newest show, Shop Spotlight. Today, we're in Raleigh, North Carolina, at the newest boutique, the state boutique. About to check them out, see what they got off. Where you been? I've been trying to make my ends meet. So I can cop that bathing ape that Jeremy's got in TND. Bottles full of rose, riding in the Benz Jeep. Blowing money fast now. I'm finna think I'm big. I met with my old head. We sat for a while. We rode the couple switches. We chat for a while. I said, I'm just on my grind. I come to Houston all the time. He said, What's been going down? In your New York state of mind. Fine. What's going on, everybody? It's Sam here with Soul Quest. I'm here. At State Boutique with the manager. What's good, everybody? My name is Torian Lewis, manager owner of the State Boutique, located downtown Raleigh, 300 West Harvey Street, Suite 24, on the corner of Raleigh and Dawson Street. He's just gonna give us a tour of his boutique. You know, ask a couple questions, see what they're about here. Uh, when I first started the store, I was really streetwear inspired, so I carried a lot of brands: um, Huff, Mishka, Diamond, the Hundreds. Um, but with us moving locations. I really uh, noticed that most of my customers that were coming in and really shopping, um, they were sneakerheads, but they also wanted a little bit more of a mature uh, menswear feel um, for their looks. So we decided to bring in um, more menswear um, contemporary pieces to kind of add on to um, what they were looking for. Now, what made you like want to start a boutique? Just realized that you know when I was in school here, um, there was only one boutique, so that was really dope that we used to shop at FM Goods. And you know, I felt like it was something that was missing in the city, it was something that was needed. So I wanted to bring that, that element back, um, that culture back to downtown Raleigh, because I know the city's progressing. It, it was just time for something different and uh, time for um, a new look for, for Raleigh. See that y'all have a sneaker wall right up here, so check this one out. So are you guys like a consignment store, or you you tend to get some of the newer releases, or you prefer, you know, Anything really. Well, right now, um, I used to do consignment. I mm -hmm. kind of held back on it. I'll do consignment if it's just an exclusive piece that is really rare, something that people are looking for, that um, you know is going to bring that attention into the store. But for the most part, we really just focus on new releases. Um, everything that drops Saturday, we get five or ten pair of new release. All I do is add a hundred dollars on retail. But it's no camp out, no lottery, no tickets, no raffles. Just come in, guaranteed size, guaranteed shoe, pick up on Saturday. No so do the people have a way to reserve that sneaker beforehand, or do they just come in the door? I do all my pre-orders on Tuesday. So um, Tuesday at 11 o'clock, we do pre-order for everything that drops Saturday. Um, people can come into the store and actually physically pay, or they can actually check out our website um, and pay online as well. Mm -hmm. And for us, our sneaker wall always changes. So every week, I'm always getting different sizes, different shoes in. I've sold anything from um, from Yeezys, Paranormans, mm -hmm. um, I mean, pretty much any shoe that's released, we, we, we normally had access to it. Um, the boutique is a state, and what I really wanted, one of my homies was asking, like, well, what do you want a state to represent, or what do you want the brand to represent? And even with the name, we decided, um, it was one of those things where I said, I want a place where all the elements I love live in this brand, a state. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to combine my love for fashion, art, and music. So um, it's not only a boutique store, but it's just a place where we, you know, we have First Friday parties, we um, do art exhibits, art galleries, music listening parties, we, we promote local artists um, and local brands. So I wanted all those elements, the fashion side of it, the music side of it, um, and then the art side of it to kind of live in this grand space. So that was like our concept for coming into this, you know, grand estate. Now for those young kids out in Raleigh and the participating <laughs> areas, are you guys hiring right now, or are We're you guys always looking, looking for interns. interns? Always looking for interns, especially with the summer push coming along. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, there's so many things that we add, like I said, the parties, the events. Um, there's a thing that we do called a state live, which mm -hmm. is a live showcase. Um, we're going to start bringing artists into the city that don't necessarily come here. So there's always things that we're going to need help with. So I tell everybody, email your resume, um, or come in, introduce yourself. You know what I mean? Just get involved and, and come in and just show your face and network. Just you know, anything negative. Well, Turner, I just want to say we appreciate you having us today. I appreciate you guys, man. Uh, thank you. Again, this is Sam for Soul Quest. Where can the people find you at? Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, our Instagram is a state rally all together. They can check us out online, www.statebutiquenc.com. Um, Twitter is a state NC. You're always coming to store. Alright, well again, we appreciate it. You guys check out the State Booty. Check out all the Soul Quest videos. Be sure to follow everybody and show love.
gig is up When the chips is down and the jig is up But I don't give a fuck, rolling up a swisher up Cause I just came here down so